Hello and welcome to another episode of Rogue Legacy. My name is Martyr and thanks for joining us. Last time guys we were just learning the ropes. We kind of just started in the game. We tried to jump in as a knight and failed like a horrible, just it was horrible. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pick another class this time. I think we'll pick the Knave. We're gonna try this class out and see how this all goes. We got 470 gold this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the knight. Paradise and Paladins through previous training Paladins have learned to block blows from any direction. Oh, that's what it was. That's why I couldn't use the shield last time, guys. All right, we got more upgrades here. We got Equip Up, which I will go ahead and purchase just to upgrade my castle more. Let's see what we got here at the left and right. We got Architect and the Enchantress. We'll go with the Enchantress. She seems more useful. Magical Runes and Powers. I like that. The Enchantress can power your body with magical runes, making you faster, stronger, jumpier, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just take whatever gold we have left and dump it into that. Into some more health, because health is always nice. Alright, now, as the knave, we basically can just, um, have like the shadow above us, that's about it. Hello, hero, could I borrow your car, your, your car, your ear, oh, your ear for a moment, I need to learn to read. I'm in need of your help, I used to be a very powerful and treacherous one, but one day, monster of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I suck at my job. <laughs> Please, here, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and then I'll sell it back to you at a profit. So I'm doing your job for you, and you want me to pay you. What the bullshit is that? All right, though. I guess that's what my job shall be. Let's move along here. Yes, there's Sharon. Whatever, take all your money, man. Go to hell. But like last time, like I said last time, uh, this game procedurally regenerates itself as a roguelike game. The game, oh, I just got a hundred gold. That was freaking sweet. I didn't even notice. I wasn't paying attention. And, um, oh, we didn't read this journal, by the way. Journal entry number one, pr the prince's journal. Treason, an assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. There, together we will venture into the cursed woods and enter ca Castle Hamson. This cursed castle stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial. But rumors say within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment on my name. Alright. But like I was saying, the game uh, regenerates, I should say, it kind of creates new environments every time you enter it. Alright, let's try to get past this. Alright. I want to avoid that big spiky ball of death. Dear God, just keep moving. And I cannot believe I did not get hit there, by the way. And uh, every time it's kind of a new environment, and it keeps the game fresh. Oh, good lord. Ow. Okay. We're going to go up here. I don't know why. We got 100 gold. That was pretty freaking sweet. And the knave, by the way, if you're curious what he does, he has kind of like a chance to crit when he hits things, as you, as you just saw there. And it makes him kind of like a glass cannon type of character. He can be very powerful and really beat the crap out of things. Or pretty much get his ass kicked right at the start. So I kind of like him. He's pretty cool. Uh, we got a fountain here, which I do believe restores your health. Uh, I will hold off on using this till I get into a pretty desperate situation. If that is a wise decision or not, we will find out. Oh, good lord. Okay, thank god none of these paintings are moving. Oh, okay. That would be the desperate situation I was talking about. And we will go back ahead and, and use that uh, fountain now. Because I do not want to die like a dude without using this at the very least. Okay. Now. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Okay. Thank goodness we were a little... Every time you get hit, by the way... You become slightly invulnerable for a little while. Which prevents you from taking damage for about, I don't know, a second or so? Not that long, not like getting breakingly long, but enough time to, let's say, hopefully get out of the area that you are in, the danger zone, as it were. I think we're doing so far pretty good. We haven't made all the gold we made, we made last time, uh, but we seem to be doing fairly well. Uh, we're at 520 gold. That seems to be about around the range we were at last time. I'm going to keep going. Let's go up, what do you think? Yeah, let's go up, guys. Let's see what's up here. Okay. I don't exactly understand what I'm doing, and I'm dead. That's, that's that. 
Um, that was more difficult than I expected. I did not understand what I was doing in that room. Yes, rest in peace, he's dead. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so we got a barbarian, a mage, and a paladin. Now we remember we got the paladin to get the shield ability. So we make he's Apparently it's a she and she has baldness and irritable bowel syndrome. Nice. That sounds like a winner to me. Alright, so we got 540 gold here. Now, I could go ahead and spend it all here. Or I could buy some uh, equipment. Does she have anything that's all that useful to me? Vault. Gives you the power to jump in the air multiple times. I like that. Let's see. Basically, I kind of like fart and I can double jump. I like that. Very nice. And we'll go ahead and purchase the... Uh, Squire sword. Hopefully that'll give us an edge a little bit. And let's see what other purchases we can make with whatever amount we have gold we have left. Doesn't look like really... Oh, it might not be anything at all. Oh, we're only... That sucks. We're only five gold away. Okay, well... Is there anything else I could purchase, perhaps? Uh... No, it does not look like we can purchase anything. 500 gold. 150 gold, there we go. No, wait, we only have 15. Whoop, derp, derp. Derp, derp. There we go. I'll go again with my inability to read properly, apparently. Uh, and it would appear that the rest of this gold is going to go to waste, which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Um, there is the shield ability I was looking for, by the way. And we could also apparently turn into a stone statue which is completely invulnerable, because the shield only protects us from the front, and obviously, that's basically it. We also have a chakram. Pretty sweet. Take all my money, you damn hooded bastard. Balding. <laughs> nice. Let's go through here again, trying to collect some more money. And hopefully find a, um, at least the chamber to the boss would be nice. Because usually those contain quite a bit of money from what I understand. We have not managed to even find a single boss room though, which has been slightly frustrating. Mostly because we keep dying so fast. Now, does that chicken disappear if I walk... Yes, it does. Okay. It disappears if I leave the room, which is... Oh, God! I am a moron. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we've gone from having a significant advantage to being utterly, well, destroyed. I probably should use my block ability there a little bit more proficiently than I did. But, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes things don't always work out. Okay, now, um, if I am correct in thinking what this is, this is not where I want to be. Yes, that is the Land of Darkness. Uh, we don't want to go in there necessarily because that is kind of an area that outlevels us quite a bit. And basically we'll get one-shotted by basically anything, by anything in that place. At the same time, though, I hate this room quite a bit. So, I'm happy that we managed to navigate that room so successfully. And we got some chicken back, which makes us about at about three quarters of our health. That's pretty nice. Die, you stupid pain, and die. Um, I would like to find the first boss room, if at all possible. And collect some more gold here. This room is lined with spikes. Whoever built this room was obviously some sort of a strange masochist. They were enjoyed spikes or maybe perhaps Mario. They were a huge fan of Mario. I just farted there and got over that. For nothing? Really? Damn it! I thought I could perhaps one shot the jump. And I could die back down to half health here. And I've learned a valuable lesson. Um now. This is potentially the class to do this fairy chest. These are the fairy chests I was talking to you about in the first video. And you can attempt to kind of get these runes from these things, which is what they offer. They offer runes. And um, the objective, though, is to take no damage whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and try that. Okay, we did not succeed, though. Because of the stupid-ass spikes. We'll see if we can make it out here with our lives. Probably, uh, we barely managed that. I am impressed. I am literally one shot from death right now. I... Uh, 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 okay, get away, get away, get away, get away. 
Okay, if I could find a chicken wing in one of these barrels, that would be fantastic. Get the hell away from me, you stupid zombie. And this guy scares the bejesus out of me. We still have plenty of mana, which apparently is not going to do me any good, though. I would not like to die, if at all possible, because we really haven't accomplished that much in this uh, playthrough thus far. But, as I said, we will die several, many, many times as we learn and get more upgrades. I probably just need more health in general. There's a chicken plank! It's, uh, oh, God! Not that it mattered, we're dead. <laughs> Lady Jenny has been slain. Uh, that was kind of god-awful, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of sucked balls there, guys. Now, let's see, we got a barbarian here with ADHD. He apparently moves very fast. We have a paladin here with an endomorph. Basically means he has gi he's bigger, not gigantism. He's just bigger. And we have another paladin here, which is nostalgic, which means well, the game will look strange, which I'm not a huge fan of. And chickens freak him out, which basically means every time we find a chicken plank thing, it'll turn into an enemy, which we have to kill, and then we can eat. Uh, I am going to say the barbarian. And the reason for that is that the barbarian has a quite a large bit of health. Uh, I'm going to dump more things into health here. And that's pretty much all we can really afford, so I'm just going to hop back in there as fast as I can here. We got the Blade Wall ability, which is really not that great of an ability. It's very circumstantial in its use. But, who knows, we may find a use for it. Uh, the Barbarian special ability, um, for the most part, is, is that they have butt-tons of health. In comparison to the other classes, they have more health than everybody else. But that also means that they're, I think, less slightly more weaker than the other classes. Uh, this isn't really going to serve any purpose for me hitting these guys. Let's just get through these guys and move along. Oh, good lord. I miscalculated the timing on that jump there. As I figured one of those paintings was a bad guy there. Excuse me, I had to burp. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, not doing fantastically. I'm not going to lie. We'll kill this guy if not possible. And let's just leave the room, actually. You know, let's do that. <laughs> if I don't have to fight him, why should I? Um, we have yet to find one of the boss rooms, which has been my kind of my goal for this playthrough, is to find at least one of the boss rooms. And get some, uh, perhaps some possible upgrades and quite a bit of gold. Uh, we haven't been doing fantastically on the gold aspect of things, but, you know... Uh, we got about 100 gold there, about 140 gold it seems like. And uh, there is a treasure chest in this room, so I will dare to venture into it. What I managed to accomplish, and if I die, hopefully I will not. Uh, the treasure chest is above me, so I will try to get to that quickly and move along. Of course, there's an evil dickhead painting. <laughs> Okay, we don't want to be in there. That is the Maya. Which, uh, maybe this will be one of those scenarios where Blade Wall will come in use. Maybe not. Okay. Well, it did kill them. It did help me kill them, but it didn't necessarily uh, finish the job, as it were. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to kill this thing in hopes that maybe it drops some sort of a chicken pie. Which it did not. But it's sitting at 670 gold, which is not really all that fantastic. Oh, uh, balls. Okay, let's check these other rooms here. Because the other rooms uh, may very well have treasure and or be a... I can't believe I'm doing this successfully. I did not believe... I cannot believe I did that successfully. That was insane. Uh, but there's other rooms we have treasure, like this one, for instance, and this will make this a little bit more profitable. I'm glad I checked the other room first. We've definitely broken our highest amount of gold. We've got a thousand gold now. And uh, there's another treasure chest in this room, so we'll go to that one. Get collect some more gold. I have to say, so far, even though we have not found a boss room, it's been fairly successful. Uh, we're probably going to call it here soon. 
Uh, there's another chest in here. Sometimes you'll find these false floors. And you can notate those by the peculiar color sh of the floor, like that one right there. See that? That's kind of different from all the rest. That's because it's a false floor. I'm probably going to die here in this next room. But I'm going to venture it into it anyways. Um, and hope that I... Well, it looks like I got lucky. Alright. You know, maybe we'll just call it here and we'll pick it up next time. So yeah, as always, the first game you want me to play, tweet me and Martyr H2J. We're doing pretty good actually so far for this run. And we will see you next time.